So Ken's obviously done some testing before, uh, but not using the Track Aero system, which is the, um, the special live software that we've got. Um, so I'll explain how that all works. Um, it's very simple, you just have to do laps of the track, okay? It, you, you don't need to be concentrating on holding a particular speed or a particular power. We want you to be focusing on holding your position as much as you can, because that's where we'll, the way we'll get the best data. You don't have to necessarily ride at 30 miles an hour for the whole... No. Uh, thank God. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it basically calculates your CDA, your aerodynamic drag, every single second as you ride around. So, um, so cool. it is very cool. Um, and it means that unless you're testing things like skin suits, as we discussed, um, you don't ha for, for position, you don't have to ride at race speed. And we had a long conversation about that and how there's a difference between when you're testing skin suits and the effect that has on uh, the speed effects on a skin suit, whereas with a position, mm. um, it's a different type of drag. So actually it's a bit less affected. Cool. So you can test your position at a lower speed and it'll still be relevant for higher speeds, more so than if you're testing a skin suit at 30 kilometers an hour and you test a skin suit at 60 kilometers an hour, it'd be totally different, whereas position is much closer. When he says we had a long conversation about it, the reason it was long was I didn't know what to say. <laughs>